Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy X. We just got into the temple and um, if you guys remember last episode we saw that sphere from uh, the other dude. Now we're fighting, so let's just go ahead and, and uh, see where this takes us. What? Alright everybody, so this is my fourth attempt at this fight. Long story short, I had to do like 20 minutes of the game over and over, or over again because I had to save so I could heal, so I could have my Aeons, blah blah blah, let's just go ahead and do the fight. Um, I would usually trigger these commands, maybe I'll put them right now just so you guys can see them, but I'm not going to because that's actually kind of a waste of time. Let's just go ahead and bring Riku into this, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna steal the high potions away from these guardians, so they actually can't heal. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and switch to Lulu. Um, let's go ahead and do some black and some magic. Let's go hit Seymour with this. I wonder, will he get healed by his... Oh, he still has shell on. Okay. Um, I guess let's just hit this guy. Let's start killing him as quick as we can here. Lazara. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, we need her to steal from this second guard. Okay, so now neither of them can heal. Now we basically just need to get rid of them now, which isn't super hard to do. I'm gonna hit this guy again. Um, let's go ahead and use the Thundara. Let's even use her to try to get rid of these guards. That's a lot of damage. Okay, let's go ahead and bring Orin in. Orin should be able to kill this guy now. Probably only have like 200 or 100 HP. Thundara. Okay, we're gonna have to heal Lulu up pretty quick. What does that do? Confused her? That's not good. Okay, let's go ahead and use item. Let's use a high potion. I need Lulu to not be confused at the moment, so that's kind of a little bit frustrating. Almost hit herself there. That's fine though. We just have to kill off this guard either way. Thunder. Okay, let's just try to get rid of him as fast as possible and then we can focus on Seymour here. Ouch. Okay, at least that doesn't do a crazy amount of damage, but that's just more annoying. I wish she would stop being confused. I could probably use Yuna's purify thingies, but... Okay, you know what? Let's just focus on killing this. If Lulu dies, we'll bring in Yuna to revive her. I'm not even worried about it at this point. Okay, are you gonna stop being confused at some point, please? Okay, that is gone. So I guess we can attack Seymour directly. Let's go ahead and do that. He takes, he takes a good amount of physical damage, which is good. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to use a Mega Potion. Let's go ahead and get everyone healed up. So we can get ready for the next phase of this fight. I really need her to stop being so confused. We're, I'm going to need her in a hot minute here. Hit, hit Lulu, please. Thank you, man. Okay, she'll, hopefully she'll get unconfused at any minute now. It, it's not, it's really not, honestly not that big of a deal that she's confused right now, but I'm going to need her to, in a minute here. Okay. Feel my pain. Come, anima. This is the next portion of this fight. So, this guy is going to charge up to, like, a big move that does, like, 3,000 damage to everyone. Obviously, I can't get hit by that. So what the plan is going to be, and this guy's like 18,000 HP, and every turn he kills one person, like he insta KOs. So basically we're just going to attack, use Phoenix Downs, and then once his big attack comes, we're going to bring in an Aeon, so it hits the Aeon instead of me. I think that's a pretty you know, easy strategy to do here. And honestly, we do a good bit of damage. Both um, Orin and Kamari do like K each. Kill Lulu, please. Okay. I was hoping he'd hit Lulu. Wait, will her confusion ever go away? Dude, okay, you know what? I'm done. I really need her to come back to me to solve. Instead of waiting for that confusion to go away, I'm just I'm gonna use it. I don't I, I can't keep waiting for that. Um let's go ahead and attack with Did you really miss that big of a target? You know how big that guy is? All right, you know what? That's okay. That's okay. You know what? We'll just uh, we'll use some Phoenix Downs. It's honestly not that big of an issue, but this fight has been 
even compared to my three other fights, this one has been a lot more frustrating. Because I've been missing. She was confused for half a decade. Yeah, let's, let's get Kamari up now so we can start doing some damage here. Boost. Okay, gathering power. Let's use, let's use a Fura here. I think this should do about 800, 900, right? First time she hasn't been confused in about 20 turns. I mean, okay, take out Lulu. She's already low HP. That would actually help me a good bit. Okay, Kamari works too, I guess. Um, let's, use a, let's use a Phoenix down. I, I really want to attack right there, but I gotta play by the strat, and I gotta keep reviving people, or I'm gonna put myself in a bad position here. Oh, I meant to do. Uh, I'm now I'm throwing, dude. I meant to do a magic spell. Okay, it's alright. It's alright. Just throwing, just a, just a tiny bit. That's not that big of an issue. Let's go ahead and use a phoenix down. And Oren has a bunch of HP, so he comes back to life with over a thousand, which is good. Okay, let's see. How much? Okay, we could probably do one more hit. You know what? Maybe I should bring in... You know what? Before I do that... No. You know what? I'm going to bring in the Aeon now. I'm not going to play any games here. Go oh, faith. And... Yeah, let's go ahead and bring in... Go ahead and bring in Imprint. And then I will need a second Aeon for the second portion of this fight. So I'll have to remember to do that. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and get Imprint in here. And hopefully he'll be able to absorb that big old attack that's going to come my way here. Okay, Meteor Strike. Get him with that. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Okay, we should be able to hit him one more time with that. And Pain doesn't automatically kill Infant, so that's good. It'll do like, what, 600? Not even that, 500. Okay, and he's gonna use his Oblivion. Perfect. It's exactly what I needed here. Okay, so now, this, instead of hitting my entire party, it'll only hit Infant, which is good. It sucks. It's a little bit of a sacrifice, but... Um, again, this would instantly wipe my entire party. So, game over or infinite? I think the choice is clear here. And then this way, um, I'll be able to go back to my party members and reset the clock and kind of keep doing damage as I was. And even in my third fight, infinite actually survived. Well, no, he survived up until this stage. Um, and then I actually had kind of a loop moment here because I was like, oh yes, he survived. I can use his, um, no, he actually dies from the fall, so. I, I wanted to use his overdrive, but he actually dies, so. Oh, oh well. Wow. Okay, hey, sacrifice. It's a worthy sacrifice for us to keep fighting, so let's keep going here. Um, yeah, let's keep doing doing some big damage here. Of course, he's gonna kill somebody. Hopefully, Kamari. Is it Kamari? I mean, that is amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and use a. Uh, life so i can even save a little bit of money on new phoenix they're only like a hundred dollars but you know what money is money boost okay you can go ahead and boost it's not that big of a deal don't miss um okay let's go ahead and switch to lulu i'm gonna have her do a fura here okay. uh, let's hit him in the head a little bit He's gonna kill another person. I would like to kill Lulu here because she's low HP. Orin. Okay, that's a little bit of a shame, but that's alright. Wow, he gets to have two? That's not fair. Okay, let's use Phoenix down. Let's get Orin up here. With Lulu, let's go ahead and use another Fura. Okay, I don't know how close he is to dying, but I might have to. I guess you heal. Okay, get Orin again. It's fun. Seems to really like hitting Orin with this. What am I doing? I need black magic. Fear out. Okay. Is this gonna kill him? 
No, but he's probably very, very close to dying, so I gotta watch out here. Um. I hit him. Okay. Please take out Lulu. I need you to take out Lulu. Because low HP is. Learn again. I mean, look. If you've got some against Orin, I completely understand, but... Uh, okay, who's Mari? Boost. Oh, he's really close. Don't tell me I have to bring in another Aeon. Please, I need this Fury to kill it. I'm good. I'm throw If this doesn't kill it, I'm throwing it. Yes. Okay. I am... That was close. But now, here's my problem. I gotta that survive power this. That defeated Anima... It will be mine! Okay. Instantly. Yuna. Summon. Ixion. Summon him. He, if I keep my party there, he's going to use multi Fira or something along that line. And he's going to do 1.5k to each of my members. And that is how I lost my third fight. So. Not this time. This time I'm bringing in an Aeon. To help me out. Okay. Hopefully, I could do a good bit of damage. Arrow Spark. I think Arrow Spark could do a good amount. He has 6k against me. He he refreshed his HP from 3,000. Fandaga. That is not gonna. Do. That healed me. That literally healed me. This guy is throwing. That's a lot of damage. Do another arrow spark, I guess, because that, that did an alright amount of damage. You know, it'll put him down to 4k, and then I just have to have to be careful from there. Hiraga, okay, this will kill me. Don't do a multi-attack right when I get back, though. That would be very mean of you, and I don't feel like doing this fight for the fifth time. Don't insta-kill everyone, please. Okay, perfect. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna instantly do a mega potion. Because at least Oren will survive if he does a multi something. Multi Blizzara, of course he does. Okay, but see, at least he'll survive it for another turn. But I. Okay, they both survived it. It's actually crazy. Okay, I'm gonna use another Mega Potion. I know I'm like using these like maybe too easily, but honestly, I just wanna win this fight at this point. Okay, Oren. I need you to hit good. <gasps> And then need I need a good Fiora. Do like do like 1.5, seven. Okay. I could do the last summon. I'm gonna do it. Why not? I'm just gonna do the last summon. He has like two two K HP. I don't think he'll be able to kill it so so easily. So this might be free. I had to use all three all three Aeons to do it, but it's free. Black magic. I don't have level 2, so let's just do Sonic Wing. I don't know how much damage this does, but I'm hoping it does more than 500. That does nothing. Oh, he's gonna kill it right away. Okay, Veil 4. Thank you for absolutely nothing. Thank you. Again, I guess he absorbed the hit. But even the hit that he gave was not strong at all. Magic break? Ooh, I could lower his magic with this, right? Or is he immune? Okay, he's not immune. Okay. We might actually have a chance to maybe get away with this right here. Maybe? No, not yet. multi walk Oh. Wait, no, most of us still have... Most of us still have most of our HP, so... Actually, we will be fine. I don't have any more summons. Shiva? Let's just do it. I don't know what this is. I think it's Shiva. I think I read about it. Ooh. Okay, never seen this before. Alright, what can you do? Ooh. Images, an enemy, delays its movement. Okay, Zara. Um, let's do a. Oh, yes, let's do the overdrive of this. 
Oh, is this a new one we just got because she just prayed in the temple? That would make sense if it was. How much damage? Hopefully it doesn't heal him because that would be sad. Okay. We take those. Pity me now? What happened here? What? What have I done? Wait a minute, it's not our fault at all. Seymour struck first, he's the bad guy. You, you did this? Yuna, send him. No, stop! Stay away from him, traitors! Or I'll cut you down too. Squid man, get out of here. Big old arms. Traitors. We're finished. Now hold on just a minute. Seymour's the bad guy, right? We'll just explain to everyone what happened. It won't be that easy. Let's get out of here. What? Black magic sphere. Okay. Take those. Shiva, yes, confirm. Yes, we do take those. Um let's heal. Wait. Yes, I don't care. I don't know if there's like another fight right away. It's happened before. Let's go ahead and just heal. This way is. Is there a save? Okay, let's go ahead and save. What is the difference between the two pathways? I don't want to go down the wrong one. Break. Hmm. Do we have to solve this puzzle now? I guess to get out we have to solve this puzzle. Okay guys, so I restarted the whole puzzle. Let's go ahead and do this from scratch, right? So let's grab this one, and I think I know what I'm doing this time. Let's grab this one. Put it in here. Push this, break that piece of ice there, and then from there we have to push this one north, hit that piece of ice, and that will clear that up, and it'll also clear up that road over here. Okay, from there, what we're gonna do is grab this sphere out of here. It'll let me take this sphere. Stick it in here. So that raises that one up and that gives us another blue sphere. So now, come up here and take this blue sphere. Give it down at this pedestal here. So let's go ahead and shove that one in there. And then push it. So that'll get the middle pedestal, or the last one, not the middle, yeah, the last one here. Okay, so now we take this one here, the one that's already pre-provided for us. Stick this one down here into this pedestal over here. That'll give us the first one. 
And now, all we need to do is grab that one on the bridge, or not on the bridge, like right here that opened up the bridge for us and stick it in the middle one. And theoretically, that should provide us with all three bridges. We stick this in here. It should be all three, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Okay. So that opens up that. Let's go see what that does. So this is we're, the part where I haven't gotten to here yet. Step on that. Let's push this. Let's bring that back. Okay, so let's go ahead and redo that. Let's take this sphere. Uh, no, do nothing. Let's go ahead and push this. Bam, just like that. Okay. Now, let's stick this destruction sphere here for now. What if I do... Oh. Will this bring this back up? Okay. Now we take this. This we put in here, right? That'll bring back the ice. Okay. I take this destruction sphere. Bring it back to the altar here. Put it in here. Push this towards the ice again. And then I think we do the exact same thing. Well, first let's grab this sphere here. Because we're gonna re-need the bridge, right? So let's grab this. Let's do the bridge. There we go. And then if you guys don't know what's going on, so we technically finished the puzzle, but I want to do like the treasure in here. So right now we're just getting the treasure. So we just put this down here. Okay, so that slides down there. And then from there, we should just be able to take this destruction orb out, put it in here. And that should lead us towards the treasure. Yes, indeed, there is the treasure frozen inside of the ground. Okay, a luck sphere. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this one out of here. That will break that bridge, but we'll be able to stick it in this one. It'll allow me push this, and this will give us that bridge over there back. Okay. Now we are able to grab this one. That'll take away the middle bridge. But we'll be able to grab or put this into this pedestal. And then we'll grab the one on the bridge and put that one in the middle slot. And we have the treasure and we can get out. Easy enough. So now let's grab this one because we will be we will not be needing it anymore. Okay, put it in this middle pedestal here. So all of the bridges are back and we have the treasure. So I think we are able to just kind of and God, don't touch that cursed thing ever again. All right, let's continue. That is the end of that puzzle. Thank God. That one was honestly, I don't think it was harder than the third, but please give us a chance to explain. No need. I already know what I'll tell the other maesters. Meaning? Lord 
Lord Seymour was the leader of the Guado before becoming a maester. You're not letting us go. Let you go? Lord Seymour would never forgive us if we did. Wait! Wait! Jiskel's sphere! We can show it to them! You mean this? Hey! The Guado take care of Guado affairs. Oh, wait. Run! What? We're just pushing through, boys. Okay. Can I talk to you while we're running? Here. Want to buy something? Sure. Um. Oh, I need a couple more of these. Just buy 20. Buy another one of those. There's a save station here? Okay. Well, that's actually perfect because this is where I'm going to end off the episode, guys. So thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like and comment. Ask us on the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless. And goodbye.